Hi, welcome to KTV5 video tutorial. And it's again the cylinder because I forgot one option. So let's do it in a fourth and different way. I insert a new body. And let's go for a sketch on the Y set plane here. Hide those yellow projected elements as usual. And I want to have a rectangle. And I don't want to use those parallel constraints, otherwise I would not have hidden those yellow projected elements. So this should be an axis. Yes, convert it. Now add some constraints. This should be a diameter, 136. This one is aligned with that plane, coincident, and this one is aligned with that plane here, or axis. And this should go to the set axis. Finish that sketch and make a shaft. Confirm. Now we'll need a similar sketch. So I want to copy it, paste it into that body here, open it, and let's delete that constraint here. Change that dimension to 150 and add a constraint or dimension from this line to that line, and this would be 1.67. Leave that sketch, make another shaft, and OK. Let's do a rectangular pattern. Instances and spacing, yes. 31 instances, spacing is 6.67, .6 yes. Direction would be that set axis, reversed. And go for that shaft here, not for the current solid. And keep specifications. And confirm. Okay, another sketch on the Y set plane. Hide those. And I want to go for a rectangle, but it will not really work. So what kind of profile do I need? I need an axis. So let's make it horizontal or vertical and delete that constraint because I don't want that constraint. I want to have a distance from that axis to this axis here. So that's kind of odd. I don't want to get it like this, so let's go here and select that set letter, that will be green. The other one I selected by accident, that axis of that cylinder. Like this, I will correct it afterwards. Now let's go for that profile tool. I need a line which starts here, goes over there probably horizontal, then goes down there, probably vertical, and then goes into an arc like that. Yeah, let's snap it like here. So this two points should be aligned. So this point and that point should be coincident. That radius should be 7. The distance from this line to that point here should be 47. And this line should be coincident with that plane here. And let's see, that looks okay. Yes, that 
diameter here should be 14. And let's change this one to the correct value, and this should be 75. Leave that sketch, and let's make another shaft. And confirm. Great, now I can do a circular pattern with that shaft here. I need four instances, yes, and I could go for a complete crown. The axis would be the set axis. That's OK, and confirm. And of course, there is some tangent condition, because the position of those flanges should be moved or use a bigger value for the diameter. Now, I could make a hole. So let's see if it works. I want to select this edge here, that upper edge. Let's go for the hole tool and select the surface. So this positioning sketch should be easy constraint. It is, and it's centered. And that diameter should be 126. And let's go up to last and confirm. Great. Let's reuse that circle which I have drawn in the video before. That's this one. Make it visible. Go swap space and let's go for an extruded cut so that would be a pocket with that sketch make it mirrored extend make it 100 that's okay and confirm now go for let's see what's the original one this one go for that edge go for the whole tool select here that surface it's not up to last it's a blind one and it should be 10 in diameter, 20 in depth, and I want to have a flat bottom, and confirm. Now another circular pattern, go for complete crown, for instances, yes, reference is that set axis here. And I don't want to pattern the current solid, but just that last hole. And keep specifications, and OK. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful as well. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would really help. You could follow me also on Instagram, Facebook, GrabCat, and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.